This is part two in my checking out my own games, as I call these videos. Uh, I start here, and uh, my, I, I said that after Bishop c5, my opponent resigned because the only move is rook to d4 to stop checkmate in one move. So, <coughs> okay. Here's another game I played very recently uh, with the black pieces. My opponent played d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, f3. And, and this is actually something rather annoying for black, I think. I haven't found a very... Uh, now, when you first look at it, <coughs> it looks almost ridiculous. I mean, what, I mean, f3, what is that? But the idea is to play e4 and just grab the center here. And uh, I didn't actually not quite know what to play here, so I played d5 first and let me see if this is still yeah okay he played a3 and I here I took bishop takes c3 pawn takes c3 and I instead of c5 I castle <coughs> he plays c takes d5 let's see if this is still open yeah okay c takes d5 uh, e takes d5 still open in theory the most common moves, I believe. And here I played e3. Yep, still opening theory and the most common moves. I played uh, not the most common move. I was ex uh, I, I didn't quite remember c5 was the main move. Or, so I played rook e8. It looks logical to put more pressure on this pawn as well as making e4 more difficult. So he played bishop d3. Still opening theory. And here I played b6. Yeah, I mean, uh, if I don't play b6, getting this bishop out becomes rather difficult. So b6 prepares bishop b7, and also bishop c6 makes uh, e4 again a little bit more difficult. So that's kind of Black's idea here to make e4, delay e4 as long as possible. But in, in the end, it becomes almost inevitable. I mean, it's going to happen at one point anyway, because we can't stop e4 forever. He played knight e2, and uh, yeah, the idea is, I think knight e2 is still open in theory, yep. And uh, I play bishop e7, I mean if you say a, you say b. Here he castle. He's playing all the main moves. He really knew, knew this opening well. <coughs> and uh, I think, let's see, okay, I played a6 here. Not opening theory, I think the, the correct move, well, if you want to follow theory, is c5. But I'll play c5 a, a later anyway. I played a6 because uh, I wanted to stop something like bishop b5 at some point, attacking my rook here on e, a, e8. But in, uh, in fact, I think uh, <coughs> it gives white more time. So, as you can see, now I have a knight, I have a rook, and a bishop, and a pawn. <coughs> Uh, just trying to make e4 or delay e4 and here I played uh, probably not a very good move knight bd7 making e4 very attractive for white play rook a2 rook a2 his idea is to go here he wants to get e e I mean th that's really what white wants to do here he wants to play e4 so he's preparing that all the time, as you can see. Uh, okay, now, here I play c5, but you know, c5 doesn't really change anything because of the rook uh, e2, he can still play e4. And I can't stop that because. Yeah, okay, I can take this pawn, but it doesn't matter because even if I take his d pawn, he takes back with a c pawn, and the scenario is still the same, he can still play e4. I play queen c7, not really knowing what else to do. And e4. Uh, yeah, I think black is worse here. <coughs> Again, taking this pawn on d4 makes no difference at all, so you might just as well let, let, let the tension be there. I went, I'll play knight f8 because I knew that he, uh, if I don't play knight f8, then the, it's very hard to actually find a good square for this knight. I think even. If I don't play knight f8, this knight is lost. Or at least we'll move the rook. So knight f8, e5, uh, 
so these two knights are just traded places but also I have a little bit more protection on my h7 pawn but no, you know, you can't really see this avalanche of pawns uh, throwing up black I think black is strategically perhaps lost, I don't know f6, knight f5 uh, b5 knight d6 uh, rook e6, I was prepared to actually sacrifice my rook for the knight here for example if uh, this move then I would just take over here, so that was my idea because that's pretty much how bad black position is but he played a stronger move uh, instead of letting me do, uh, I suppose he actually saw that, so he played knight takes bishop queen takes and now f5 rook e8, e6 it looks very bad for black <coughs> Uh, knight b6. I had to move my knight, obviously, and this pawn is going to drop off. But it, uh, I figured that I was going to somehow win it back. Bishop takes. Uh, first, I was looking at uh, pawn takes, but the problem is that if pawn takes, it can double up on this pawn on d5, and it's kind of difficult to protect it as well because uh, if I put my rook over here, you know, at some point perhaps e7 is, yeah kind of unpleasant so I took with my d-pawn I think black is lost here actually but uh, well, let's see what happened uh, bishop f4 a5 bishop d6 b4 just trying to do something pawn takes pawn takes pawn takes queen takes here we can even play I think I even looked at that c3 no uh, sorry c6 and the, and the point is that I can't take the bishop obviously because this queen is protecting uh, protecting it so I play, uh, he play rook b2, queen c3 rook c2 queen b3, queen e2 <coughs> so he's attacking this pawn rook a4, rook fc1 now this was a blitz game like the other games so we, we were really down on just seconds here g6 I mean, I have to do something. Pawn takes, knight takes. I would prefer to take with the knight, but I, I want to get this knight out some sometime. Uh, okay, so he took my pawn. I play rook a6, rook e4, discovered attack, queen a3. And here he blundered. I mean, like I said, we were down to just seconds here. So we played queen f2, attacking this pawn, but he forgot his rook on c1, so I played. Queen c1 check and uh, he, he lost a, rock, a rook uh, but okay I, I think black is lost here but I won the game anyway but you know that's what happens in blitz uh, so let's take a, a look at another game <coughs> let's see what happened here yeah wow I've seen this silly move many times c4 d4 takes takes e5 bishop d3 knight f6 I have no idea whether or not this is yeah it is opening theory actually <coughs> every time I see a move e3 it just yeah that's just a silly move nice c6 castles e6 uh, I would prefer to get my bishop out but I, I think I was I didn't quite like that because of the here maybe you can even play this move and then this move and here you can just take something like that and but it turns out that bishop g4 is actually opening theory but I didn't do that so I play e e6 and then yeah I was thinking that maybe at some point I can play e5 or b6 just to get the bishop out rook e1, bishop d6, bishop g5 takes okay bishop g5 was a mistake obviously why? well I have this classical uh, it's a classic example where you know when king takes, you have this check with the knight and you pick up the bishop on either the g5 or g4, I mean, it's very typical. <coughs> but uh, he didn't play king takes, so he played king f1. So I went back to b8, c3, h6, bishop h4, castles. Uh, knight g2, e5, like I said I want to get this bishop out, the e5 takes, takes, bishop c2, queen c3, 
queen d6, stepping out of this pin. I suppose you could say that I was stepping out into another one, but I have the option to move my queen anywhere. I won't, so I'm playing knight to h5, bishop h2, bishop g4, f3, bishop d7, knight d4, uh, queen f6. Uh, okay. I think I'm out of, I was looking at this move. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks kind of nasty for white, I would say, if it does that. So, okay, queen of six, king g1, <coughs> knight to c6, knight f1, bishop takes h2, check, knight takes rook e, f8, queen d3, g6. He was threatening checkmate. Yeah, of course it's checkmate. Not in one move. I have queen, uh, king f8, but then after king, uh, queen to h8 is checkmate because of this rook on e1. So j6, the only move I suppose. Yeah. Queen d2, attacking my pawn on h6. So I play king g7, rook d1, and here he lost the time of the knight to f4. I think, uh, I think black is just winning here. I think so. I, I haven't even counted the pawns. Okay, let's see. But white has five pawns, and black has six pawns. So I think black is winning here. Not because of the pawns, but I think. It looks like the white king is under attack while the black king is fairly safe. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the last game I want to show. Let's see. Uh, okay, here's another uh, another one. This was a rather short game. <coughs> My opponent wasn't very weak, uh, strong. Well, let's see what happened. I think it was kind of lowly rated. This was a rated player. So I think, I don't know, 1600 or something like that. 1400, 1500, I don't know. I think he handled the opening at least fairly okay in the, so far. Not sure if this is the all, all opening here. Okay, e3. I play c5. He, he played. Uh, the opening move here is c takes d5, but he played bishop d3 and we were out of books, so I played c takes d4. E takes d4, a6, stopping knight b5, preparing b5 after c, uh, d takes c, perhaps. He castle along. Not a very good choice, I think. I took the pawn, and uh, now b5, bishop b2, bishop b7, king b1, rook c8, king a2, oops, king a1, bishop b4, bishop d3, I went back to b7, rook a, h2, g1. Ridiculous because you can't play d4 anyway because <coughs> there's a knight hanging on f f3. Queen a5. This is starting to look rather unpleasant for white, I think. You play queen b3, but now I have uh, rook takes c3. Uh, exchange sacrifice. Pawn takes. Bishop takes c3. Uh, check. King b1. And here I play bishop d5. And here you play queen takes d5. Now, if you didn't play queen d5, and let's say something like this, that's obviously the only move. Then I have this, and uh, he has to go over here. Uh, what else? Let's see. I'm not so sure if giving a check here makes any difference. So let's say, for example, this move, giving giving him a double check. He can't go to, yeah, he can't really do anything here because I'm going to give him a double check and then win his queen anyway. So he took my bishop and hit now. The rest is just silly. So checkmate on of the queen b2. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these uh, two videos about games that I played. Not perfect in any way, but perhaps entertaining in a way. So, see you later.